Hey everybody, Dan and Aspire here, just walking through how to use Go React. So uh, this is what Go React looks like. Um, you should have received, you will receive an invite to Go React. Um, I believe it'll either be from Go React, but it might mention the University of Colorado Denver. It might mention Aspire. Hopefully, it'll be clearly from Go React or the University of Colorado Denver or Aspire. It should be really clear. Basically, you'll follow that link. You'll create a username and a password, and once you have that, you can log in. Um, I'm gonna log in here. My credential should be saved since I come here multiple times every day. Uh, I'll just give it a second. Cool. Then you log in. And it should look something like this. And you can continue to go react.com. Um, make sure that you're in the Aspire Spring 2019 cohort. You may have a demo course. You can see I have a fall course. Um, but Aspire Spring 2019 cohort is the place that you want to be. Um, as you can see, there's only one activity. As the semester goes on, we'll have more cycle videos and more videos throughout the year that will be listed there, so you can just find the assignment and post to it. Um, before we get into actual recording, let's talk about Go React just very quickly. So videos to us are non-negotiable. It's an integral part of our program. We have 300 teachers border to border in Colorado, only 12 evaluators. We'd love to be in every classroom in person as much as we can. It's really hard for us to do that. We do we do want to visit you at least once or twice while you're in the program. Um, but to fill in those other times that we can't come see you, uh, we're going to need you to upload these videos. CDE mandates that we evaluate you through observation. This is the way that we do that. Um, I realize you know recording yourself, hearing yourself talk is not a lot of fun. There can be some tech hurdles. It can be uncomfortable. Um, but this to me is my favorite part of the program. It's cool to see you teach from afar. And then it's even cooler to have a discussion about your practice within the actual video that you recorded. Cool. Now, in terms of what to record on, I highly advise that you use your laptop. Um, you can use an iPad or a, a tablet. You can use a cell phone. Just make sure you download the Go React apps for those mobile devices. We found that Go React works really well when you're recording in the browser or the app, not so well when you're recording outside of that and uploading to it. Um, most teachers in our program use a laptop, and what they do is they go to the back of the room, they put their laptop, they open it up so the, the webcam um, is pointing out. Uh, some of them cover the actual screen of the laptop with a piece of paper so students can't turn around and see themselves in the screen of the laptop. If you do that, just make sure you don't cover up the actual webcam, otherwise we're not going to be able to see anything. Um, some teachers tell their students, hey, I'm in a teacher prep program, I'm sending this video to my instructor in Denver, who's going to give feedback. Uh, that's what this is all about. Just be yourself. Some teachers hide it. Um, it's totally up to you. Uh, it doesn't matter to us. Basically, we just want to be able to get a video where we can see and hear you, the teacher, and get a feel. We might not be able to hear everything the students say or see everything the students say, but just get a feel for like uh, engagement, behavior, participation, that type of stuff for your students. All right, so let's say you've got this set up at the back of the classroom. Here's how you actually take the video. Um, there are a few clunky things that happen and we haven't found a work way around, work around or around them, but just watch and I think you'll get it. Um, so you click add video. Um, I'm just going to call this a Dane practice video and I'm the presenter and I'm going to click record. I don't want to upload a video. We're recording right in the browser. So I'm going to click record. Now it's going to, it may say like, yeah, camera failed, uh, Adobe Flash. So basically, if you're on a Mac, this might be a problem. If you're on a PC, that might be a little bit easier. This really isn't a problem. Just make sure you've clicked allow and then close and then click. Anytime it asks you to allow Flash, essentially, click allow. And there I am. Uh, you can see me. Sometimes when you allow Flash, it might kick you back out to the home screen of this cohort page. And you just need to do it again. But basically, here I am. I've clicked allow. Um, now you can see Adobe Flash uh, is showing me. Uh, so the next thing you would do is click continue. Here are the instructions. Basically, we want you to record what you planned last week. Uh, so we asked you to plan a lesson that had a really tight beginning where you think through what's happening at the beginning. Also find a spot to do right to learn somewhere in the lesson. Uh, if you're lower elementary, you might have elected not to do right to learn because your kids might not be ready for it. But any any rate, we're trying to see a really tight beginning, hopefully seeing right to learn. Um, but I do mention here, please record the whole lesson. You don't have to record just the beginning and stop it. Just let the whole thing run. We'd like to get a context for you as a teacher, uh, get context for your school, get context for your students. Um, then I also say, please put in three to five comments after watching. I'll show that in just a minute. Um, 
Click continue. Again, it's gonna ask me to allow flash. Just make sure allow um, is selected. I'm gonna click remember, maybe that'll be better. Uh, and then I'm gonna click close. I'm gonna click allow again. Um, and then I should show up here in just a minute. Cool, there I am. So this would be a great thing to do maybe like three to five minutes before you teach your class that you're gonna record. Maybe find a good spot for it, walk through these steps that I just said, and you're gonna leave it right here. Because as you can see, um, it's ready to record uh, at any point. So maybe I get this ready, the kids are about ready to come in, and then right as they're coming in, I would click record. And now the video is rolling. Um, I would run to the front of the classroom, greet my students, whatever I need to do. Just teach your class as if it's normal. This is recording. It'll run. Make sure that you have enough power for it to run. If you can plug it in, that'd be great. Um, but just let it run. Teach your class as normal. Um, and then when you're done, you when you're done with your whole lesson, you know, talking to students, make sure they get out safe. All the stuff you need to do is, is finished. Just make sure you come back and hit stop. And now the video is rolling. Um, cool. I would run to the front. So that's my video that I just recorded. It's playing it back. Um, you can watch it and you know decide if you want to post it, discard or resume. Uh, I would just post it because you just recorded that entire lesson. We're gonna hit that. Cool. And now, as you can see, uh, my video is right here. Um, so I'm gonna click on it. And now the video is rolling. Cool. All right. Cool. So um, I'm going to turn this audio down just because it's going to be really weird for you to, uh, to hear me talk twice. Um, so the video's up. I can see it. You can see it. That's great. But the last step that we want you to do is put in some comments. Um, it's kind of cool. As your video is rolling, you can just type in a comment like, this is the hook of my lesson. Uh, what do you think? You know, it'd be good, better if you gave us some better comments than that. But once you've typed that in, you hit return, and it's time stamped that at number four. Let's say something cool happens, or let's say something bad happens here. Uh, maybe a student's acting out, and you can say, uh, this student often acts out when he has to sit a long time. Any ideas to help him out? And you're asking me this about your video, right? And then you can click return again. Another one comes through. But basically, uh, we want to see at least three to five comments. You can point out strengths. You can point out areas that didn't go so well. You can ask us questions. You can give us content. Basically, anything you think we need to know uh, moving forward. Also, if you wanted to attach any handouts or anything, you could definitely do that here using this paper clip. Um, but what I'll do then is I'll go back and look through your video and when I see like say this is your comment I can click reply type something in bang we can have a whole conversation within the video so it's really cool um, it's pretty easy um, but basically that's all there is to it um, upload the video make sure you've got it in a spot where we can hear you can see you can get a general feel for what's happening in the classroom let it ride the whole class period. When you're done, turn it off. Upload it, put in three to five comments, um, and then we'll be able to watch that video and have a, a dialogue with you about your teaching practice embedded in your actual video, which is pretty cool. If you have any, uh, hit any tech hurdles or if you have any questions or concerns, by all means, please reach out to me or Leslie. Uh, we're both here to help you. Really excited to see your classroom from afar and get you up and running on Go React. It's going to be cool. Thanks a lot.